Okay, guys, so this is the third example. Instead of writing the uh, arguments in long sentences, I just very briefly write them as follows. I have three premises. P implies Q, Q implies R, and then P. The conclusion is R. Okay? Um, so, the question is, is this a valid argument or not? Well, I need to uh, picture the, the truth table of this argument. This time is different than the previous two examples because I have P, Q, and R, so I have three uh, atomic sentences. So I have P here, oops, it's gonna be longer. I have Q, oop, and then I have R. All right, so remember, each atomic sentence has two values, either true or false. But because I have three atomic sentences, I have two to the power three, which is eight total number of cases that I need to consider. So <clears throat> one case is all three are correct or true, I'm sorry. All right. The other one is true, true, false. Um, usually a sort of a trick that I have is I have four trues here and then I have four false here. So total of eight. And here I have two trues, two false, two trues, two false. And then I have true false, true false, alternating true false, true false. So if you look, these are all eight possible cases. All right. So now it's time to write the premises. So I have premise number one. I have premise number two, and I have the conclusion. So conclusion, premise number two, premise number one. So what is the premise number one? P implies Q. Premise number two is Q, oh, I'm sorry, Q implies R. There's a premise number three, which I forgot. Um, so it's premise number three, which is P only. And then finally the conclusion, which is R. Okay. All right. So here the simple thing, well, let me just make this table so that we, that we don't get lost with the rows. All right. So I can just copy the P here, right? So P is true, 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 false, 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 false. All right. So given the atomic sentence, this premise is true or false. Given the atomic sentences, truth values, the premise number one, P implies Q is going to be true all the times, except Q is false, P is true. So. P, Q, these are the two atomic sentences I need to uh, look at for premise number one. So true, 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 false, false, true, false, 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 true, true, false, true, true, false, 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 false. In those cases, they're true. Okay, for premise number two, Q implies R, I need to look at these two atomic sentences. It's true whenever both true, it's false whenever R false but Q true, and here it is true, here it is true, true, false, true, true. I'm doing it quickly, but you can always, you know, uh, roll the video back and, and just, you know, go slower. And then the final, uh, the conclusion, well, conclusion is R itself. So I just copy R again. So the, the conclusion R is true whenever the premise is, uh, I'm sorry, whenever the atomic sentence is true. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And again, remember the definition of a valid argument. In all cases where all premises are true, conclusion must be true. So therefore, I must be looking at all the cases where premises are true. All premises are true. This is uh, one of those cases. And the conclusion is true check good so it, it it is potentially a valid argument 
This case, I don't care about the conclusion, but because one of the premises is false. The same thing, same thing, same thing. One of the premises is false. Both premises are false. One premise is false, one premise. So you know what? There's only one case where all premises can be true, in which case the conclusion is also true. Hence, this is a valid argument. That's it.